In this video, we will be learning how to sketch a transition diagram from the given transition matrix. Uh, this is our given transition matrix, you can see that. So from here you can see that it has, uh, this is a 3 by 3 matrix, meaning 3 rows and 3 columns. So it means that this would have 3 states. You can label them S1, S2, S3. Say for example like say S1 here, so this is S2 and similarly there would be their future state s1 s2 and s3 so now to sketch a diagram so what we do is that say okay say circle let's say call it say s1 and then s2 and say this is s3 so now from here you can see that this point one right so this is a transition from this s1 to s1 column right so s1 to s1 is point one so we would uh, draw the arrow here so start from s1 and coming back here like this one and we label this value here point one so zero point one then from s1 to s2 from like in the first row and second column here so this is point 0.9 so this is going from s1 to s2 so we'll start our arrow and take it towards s2 right? so and put this value here so 0 0.9 then s1 to s3 is 0 so it means that there is no transition going from s1 to s3 so you can either make a arrow and then put 0 or even don't make a arrow right so both will work Similarly, the transition from S2, the arrows that are getting out of S2, so going to S1 is 0.28. So from here, so going in this direction to S1, so that is 0 0.28. And then 0.59 is S2 to S2. So starting arrow and coming back in here, so 0 0.52. And then point 0.13 here, right? So that's S2 to S3. So from S2 to S3 here, this arrow, so 0 0.13. And then from S3, so S3 to S1 is 0. So there's no arrow going to S1, no to S2. So only to S3 to S3 is 1. So arrow starting from S3 and coming back here. So that's 1. So that is your transition diagram. 